Cool. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you very much for having me today. And the, I'm super excited to be here. So I will be speaking about the future of multi-chain. And the, my name is Sota Watanabe, founder of Asta Foundation, and also a CEO at Stati Lab. And the, also, I am a, one of the directors at Japan Blockchain Association, and luckily selected uh, for 30 under 30 in Asia this year, uh, so last year. So about Astar. So Astar is the multi-chain smart contract hub on the top of Polkadot. So Polkadot consists of relay chain and the parachain. The relay chain is the heart of the Polkadot, and the parachain is the own blockchain that has own logic, that, such as you know, smart contract chain, NFT chain, DeFi chain, and so on. And I joined Polkadot Space back in 2019 and started making smart contract hub on the top of Polkadot. And the reason is Polkadot relay chain does not support smart contract by design. So if you would like to make dApps on the top of Polkadot, you need to choose a parachain that has smart contract. And when it comes to smart contract, we have two environments, Ethereum native environment and Polkadot native environment. I'm going to explain later. But in one sentence, the Asta is a smart contract platform for the multi-chain future. And we are making a, a DAPS hub on the top of Polkadot. So we are providing, we are offering the App Store on Polkadot, just like this. And we are improving UI and the UX, and a lot of the apps uh, already listed on the top of Asta portal. And you can stake your token on the top of DAPS. And based on the number of the token you stake, the DAPS can earn token, just like basic income. And I also explain how it works. And this is the page of the DAPS, and you can see a basic information, and the UI, and who is building, and the license, and so on. So if you're interested, feel free to uh, go to portal.asta.network. And since we have a Ethereum native environment and Polkadot native environment, you can log in to the, our product by using Ethereum address and also Polkadot address. And we, as Omar said, we became one of the first Polkadot parachain last year, so we are still young. But uh, we have more than 200 company and projects, dApps, infrastructure on the top of Asta. And Asta is also known as the go-to market chain in Japan, so we do have a strong presence in Japan too. Uh, this is the backer. We are backed by Binance, Coinbase, FMC, uh, Hashkey, and uh, you know legendary people and companies. And I think probably uh, the Asta is the the advantage of the Asta is working with enterprises. So we are obviously on the top of Polkadot. And by leveraging Polkadot native features, such as the trustless bridge, shared security, and the Polkadot native smart contract and Ethereum native smart contract on Polkadot, we are working with big enterprises, such as Toyota, Sony, and local governments, including Shibuya uh, City, Sendai City, and Fukuoka City in Japan. And this is the technical feature of the ASTAR. So we do have Ethereum environment and also Polkadot environment called WebAssembly. So WebAssembly is built by Web2 tech giants such as Google, Microsoft, Mozilla, and so on. So we support Web3 smart contract, and we support smart contract written, written in uh, existing smart contracts, existing programming language such as Lust, Go, C++, TypeScript, and so on. And great feature, another great feature of the Asta is build to and concept. So blockchain is all about incentive design, but the incentive for builder is absolutely broken because developer is the most important people in a blockchain ecosystem, but they are paying a lot of the cost when they deploy smart contract, right? So we invented the build to and concept. If you build your infrastructure or dApps on the top of Asta, you can earn token based on the contribution, on-chain data from uh, block rewards. So you can earn token by making smart contract on Asta. 
So this is the new concept called build to earn. And we could make it because we are using Polkadot Substrate. Substrate is the blockchain framework made by Parity Technologies. And Substrate is, since Substrate is customizable, and we can update the blockchain itself without, without any fork. So thanks to our flexibility, we invented this concept and implemented on the top of our star. And because we are making a smart contract platform, I would like to point out some of the problem of the existing smart contract. The first one is the lack of the composability. So when you deploy smart contract on one blockchain, it is really hard to interact with other, other smart contract on other chain. So smart contracts are pretty much fragmented. And second one is the lack of the smart contract language. So Solidity is the most widely adapted smart contract language in the Web3 space. It's also made by Gavin Wood, the founder of the Polkadot. But Solidity comes from Bitcoin OP code, which means there are a lot of the technical limitation. And that's why Web, WebAssembly is necessary. And WebAssembly supports multiple existing language, just like, just like I said, including uh, Lust, C++, and TypeScript, and so on. So, we support Ethereum virtual machine, Ethereum compatible smart contract, and then we support Web3 developer. At the same time, we support WebAssembly, which means we support Web2 developer. So our platform is not only for Web3 developer, but also for Web2 developer. And we do have a e EVM and WebAssembly. Sorry, this is what I said right now. And we do have a multiple smart contract languages, like Solidity, Last, and so on. In the future, we started from Polkadot, and we became a parachain. And thanks to Polkadot's shared security, we don't care much about the decentralization, because decentralization comes from Polkadot. This is the great feature of the Polkadot as well. And we are going to connect our blockchain to other existing uh, blockchains, including Cosmos, Ethereum, and so on. And today, we connected our blockchain to Cosmos, thanks to our collaboration among Sera, Injective, and Astar. So I think one of the big thesis of the Polkadot is chain, against chain maximalism. So by connecting blockchain, we're gonna make the, the we're gonna make Web3 happen. And I would like to talk about our presence in Japan as well. So we are right now collaborating with Sony and Toyota and the great companies in Japan. So first one is Sony. So we kicked off. Web3 incubation program together with Sony. And by leveraging Sony's asset and Astar's technology, we are going to incubate uh, around 20 different companies across the globe. And we got roughly 200 applications within two weeks. And we selected 19 different companies. Uh, this is the batch one, and we are going to the batch two, batch three, batch four. And there will be a demo day in June in uh, Japan Blockchain Week at Sony HQ in June. So if you, are if you, if you come to uh, Japan, feel free to visit. And second one is the Web3 Hackathon sponsored by Toyota. Uh, Toyota is the largest automobile company in Japan and probably uh, in the globe. And we started a hackathon sponsored by Toyota. And the, the title is all about DAO. Toyota has more than 300K employees across the globe. So the title is Creating DAO Tooling for Toyota's Employee. I think Web3 is still very early stage for existing big companies. But uh, Japanese government made Web3 as a national strategy. So a lot of the big company would like to work on Web3. So we started from Hackathon and the incubation program to see the potential of the Web3. But uh, eventually, we plan to make a lot of the use cases together. And this is the unique use case we, our ecosystem created together with big company. And the Karubi is the largest potato chips company in Japan. And the Karubi potato chips is sold at literally all convenience stores in Japan, literally. 
and we we distribute NFT issued on our stars through Calbee's potato chips, and I would like to explain how it works. So, in the Web One era, you know, Calbee distribute a card like baseball card or soccer card or maybe you know anime card through potato chips, and in the Web Two era, they distribute their information through QR code attached on potato chips. In the Web3 era, they created a Web3 wallet, and it, by scanning Calbee's potato chips with your Web3 wallet, NFT issued on a star are automatically distributed to you, your wallet. And once you eat potato chips, you can get seed, seed of the plants. And if you eat again another potato chips, the NFT will be growing, right? So we created growing NFT together with the big company. And if you eat potato chips five times, uh, you can get character like this. So you can prove the loyalty of the Calbee on chain on Asta network. <laughs> this is the potato chips trial. So I would like to make more healthy use cases. Um, I think this year and next year, the most important things is mass adoption. So we need to, we are providing our platform not only for Web3 Geek, but also Web2 developers. And we are providing our platform not only for Web3 native projects, but also for big companies. So this is what we are doing right now. And this is our plan for quarter three and quarter four. So first one is the redesigning Asta token economics. Um, and second one is bootstrap WebAssembly ecosystem. So we have been supporting Ethereum ecosystem from the beginning. I mean, Ethereum compatibility from the beginning. But we just enabled WebAssembly, Polkadot native smart contract, um, two months ago. So we are looking for Polkadot native smart contract builders, Polkadot native smart contract infrastructure, including Oracle, you know, Indexer, and so on. And the third one is the we strategically start from Japan, and we would like to onboard multiple big company on a star to make real use cases. And last one is improving developer experience and uh, you know expand to uh, other ecosystem as well. Uh, conclusion. So I think this year and next year, the most important things is mass adoption. And as I said, we would like to bring Web2 developer to Polkadot ecosystem by supporting WebAssembly smart contract and existing ECDM, but ECDM smart contract. And also, we would like to bridge the real world and Web3 world. And that's why we are focusing on working with enterprises right now. And it is a kind of bear market, but uh, the people here is going to create a future of the Web3. So, and we need to make the Web3 not only for the geek, but also uh, general people, just like your grandmother or grandfather. And we are supporting the, the not only Web3, but also Web2. But we are just the beginning phase. We just started. So we would like to work with the not only big companies, but also Web3 native projects. And let's make Web3, you know, bigger ecosystem, bigger, and let's utilize Web3 together with Asta and Polkadot. Yeah, thank you very much for listening.